Hey everybody and welcome to the 30th edition of 2 Minute Photoshop Tricks. I'm Kent Conklin and today we're looking at editing down in bridge. As always we're going to cruise through these tricks fairly quickly so feel free to pause or rewind the podcast if we're going too fast. And remember, always work on a copy of the image, not the original. Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at how to edit down a shoot in Adobe Bridge. This trick allows you to quickly rate and sort all of your images so you can quickly focus in on your good images from a shoot while eliminating the bad shots without deleting them. Unfortunately, this trick will only work with Photoshop CS2 since older versions of Photoshop do not include most of the functionality we need for this trick. So to start editing a shoot, first you need to have a folder of images on your computer. Now we aren't looking at the entire workflow today, so if you need help downloading your images to your computer, or help with the general workflow, check out our workflow show in our archives. Now once you have your images on your computer, we need to open up that folder in the Bridge application. You can either find the Bridge app on your computer and launch it manually, or you can launch the Bridge from within Photoshop. To launch Bridge from within Photoshop, simply go to the File menu and select the Browse option. Bridge will launch, and on the left hand side you will see three separate sections. At the top, on the left, there should be a section for your favorite folders and locations then a preview section below that, and finally a metadata and keywords section at the bottom. The part we need to look at first is the top left box of Bridge. There should be two tabs in this section, one labeled Favorites and one labeled Folders. If the folder your images are in isn't listed in the Favorites tab, simply go to the Folder tab and drill down through your folders by clicking the little triangles on the left side of each folder till you find the folder of images that you want to rate and edit. Click on the folder of images to load it into Bridge. You should notice all of your images start to appear on the right hand side of the window. Now that we have our shoot open, we really don't need to see the stuff on the left hand side of the bridge, so we can collapse it by simply clicking on the button at the very bottom left corner of the bridge window. It should look like two little triangles pointing away from each other. This will expand the view of our photos so we can see more of our pictures at a time. You can always re-expand the left hand side of the bridge by simply clicking on the same arrows at the bottom left again. Now we need to set a baseline rating for all of our images. Go to the Edit menu and pick the Select All option. This will highlight all of your images within Bridge. Now go to the Label menu and select the 2 star rating. If you're working with raw images, a dialog box will pop open saying that the rating will be stored as a sidecar file. If this happens, just click OK. Now at the top of the Bridge window, Toward the right hand side, you should see a little drop down menu that says Unfiltered. Click on this menu and select the Show Two or More Stars option. Since all of our photos are rated 2, nothing will happen, but now we have everything set up so we can get down to editing. With all of your images still selected, go to the View menu and select the Slideshow option. This will dim your screen and show your first image very large on your monitor. Now this slideshow might start playing through all of your images automatically, and if that happens, just push the spacebar key on your keyboard to pause the slideshow. 
Having the slideshow paused will allow us to manually control how long we see each image. But before we get going seeing more of our images, we need to rate our first image. We can rate each image on a scale from 1 to 5 by simply pushing the number keys on the keyboard 1 through 5. So if my first image is a real junker, I can just push the 1 key on my keyboard to rate the image a 1. If my image is fairly good, I can rate it a 3, while if the image is one of my all-time favorites, I can push the 5 key on my keyboard. Each person will rate their photos differently, so pick a system that works for you. After you have rated your first image, simply push the right arrow key on your keyboard to advance to the next image. Then just keep rating and advancing till you reach the end of your images. When you do reach the end of your folder, the bridge will automatically return you to the thumbnail view of your images. Or you can always push the escape key anytime while in the slideshow mode to return to the contact sheet. When you do return to your contact sheet, you'll notice that all of your one star images are no longer being displayed. This is because we set the filter menu earlier to filter out any one star images. Having our junker pictures hidden, you can cruise through your images and see what you'd like to edit in Photoshop, add to a gallery, or browse just your favorite images. You can of course change the filter setting anytime to show all of your images again or filter out even more. Say you only want to see 4 or 5 star images. Also you can quickly change the rating on any image by selecting the image thumbnail then clicking on the stars underneath the thumbnail. Okay, that's it for this week's show, but make sure to tune in next week for another great one. Also, stop by our website at 2minutetricks.com. If you have a question about Photoshop or the show, send me an email at kent at 2minutetricks.com. And remember, you can always leave us a voicemail at 310-928-3214. Or, if you don't want to pay long distance, you can always Skype us at kent.conklin. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.